long as it's like here. Yep. 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 You good? Yep. This guy's a good slater. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is firm. Right. Last one to the airport buys breakfast. Buy breakfast. <laughs> Day one, day one. That's fire, but listen, man. We got the queen in the building. We don't, we don't even need an introduction, okay? <laughs> we got the queen in the building. We like, have Mary J. Blige in the crew has I'm studio. Like, I'm like shaking. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. Please. What's up, y'all? Listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, I'm going to get this out the way because, look, one day I came to set, right? And I've been stressing over these sneakers, bro. I look, I, I came to set with the Fragment 3s on. Mary said she liked them. Right. And I told her I was going to get her a pair, right? So I get a pair from this <laughs> bro. And the kid scammed me, bro. Like, look, look. He really scared me, bro. I told him, oh. so you better have some tough people around you, bro, because I know exactly where he be at. Oh, so look, I'm going to just tell you, I was not lying. I'm going to get you the sneakers. The kid just scammed me, though. Michael oh, got the sneakers for you. I had to get out of the way because it's been, <laughs> it's been getting me mad, bro. Because, like, I wouldn't even care. If it was me trying to buy the kicks for myself, I right. wouldn't care. Like, hey, keep your 300. But I'm trying to get these kicks for Mary, bro. I told her. I literally told him, bro. I said, yo, these are for Mary, bro. I need these sneakers, bro. So yeah, I got you. Scam me, bro. <laughs> Hey, it's okay, Michael. Nah, it's not okay, man. I'm, I can wait. No. And I, and I believed you when you said it. I, hey, I know you I just want, I just want. I just want to make sure, because I, I ain't, ain't, ain't no cap in my rap. I got I, you. I, I know, baby. I know. Because right, right. I want Monet to come kill me. Either, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we love you, Mary. We Thank you so much for doing this. Um, we know you were a huge Power fan before mm -hmm. you got on Power. Mm. Um, so I, I want to know, like, what the process was when you got on Ghost. Like, mm -hmm. did you tell Courtney? Were you vocal about it? Or did your reps call you? Like, how, how did it kind of happen? Well, I mean, I've been a fan, you know, of, of, of Power, period, right. just from day one. And um, I always wanted to meet Courtney. I knew 50. Mm -hmm. And so when I when I had the meeting with Courtney in 550, it was about some things that I had in the works um, for my own production company right. mm -hmm. and just some ideas I had. And then that wasn't an idea I had was for a character like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, it was like, Courtney just, we, I started talking about the character and Courtney went to writing yeah. and boom. And my started working. She was like, yup. Mm -hmm. Courtney went to writing and I was like, and, and the whole team was like, it'll be cool if, you know, there could be a queen pin like that on 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 on, pa on power on right. ghost, and I was like, uh, you know, say less, like, <laughs> right, right, right. you know, because I. So, I, so you basically came up with the origin of the of of Monet. Then. Well, there was a character that we were speaking, we were all mm -hmm. you know speaking mm -hmm. about and dreaming about, and it's a character that I I knew. Mm -hmm. So right. I was t telling Courtney and Fifty some of my my female drug dealer stories mm. that, that I still know to this day, like walking out my building and there's so-and-so and there's so-and-so and, -so, and, -so, mm -hmm. and they have the furs and they have the cars and they have the husbands that are in prison or mm. dead. Right. So I know this woman very, very well to this day. And so Courtney just went to writing Damn, as, you know, fire. as I, I was telling the, her, the story to her in 50. Mm. And then um, Monet was born, like that's right fire. right there on the spot. Because I know Monet, like for that real, for real. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think that's fire. most yeah. women are Monet, yeah, <laughs> you know, right. survivors, you know. In New York. Yeah. How, how late in to power was that conversation with Courtney? Was it like season five, season six, or power was almost like over? Mm. Oh, so mm. it was about ghost yeah. was about to happen, and then it just yeah. kind of was a perfect marriage. Yeah, mm, that's, that's perfect timing. Crazy. I didn't even know that. Perfect, perfect timing. <laughs> perfect. That and is I, so cool. Is is it one of your favorite characters you've ever played? Do you think? It's definitely up there with yeah. um, Cha Cha, yeah, right, right, <laughs> from right. Umbrella Academy. Right. But 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 Monet is special though because yeah. she's like every woman, right. you know that. Single, trying to make it, loves mm -hmm. the life, you know. Like I said, I know this lady. I kind of could have been this lady, but right. you know, like in real life. But I, I just, I just. But instead, love you're just an international superstar. No, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I gotta think like her, you know. Right, I mean, I'm, I'm in a male-dominated business, right. you know. Mm -hmm. I'm in a male-dominated world. Like been I mean, there for a while. my striving. peers are all male, you know. Most of them, you know, and um, I have to think. Like, like you know, not like a murderer, but I, <laughs> right. I have to be strategic, yeah, like, yeah. you know, like Monet. Right. Yeah. Like, that's what I was saying, like, like I said in the last episode with Lavelle, I was like, growing up, like, playing the, the character of Tariq, like, I move different. I'm way, I move way more strategic in the real world now because I just learned so much from what mm -hmm. Tariq be going through. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, Lavelle will be the next episode, but just to, people is? are gonna be confused. Be like, Lavelle didn't come on yet. Oh shit. Well, um, yeah. But yeah, I know you kind of got to draw on like real life experiences while acting because 
then you don't know what you're doing. You're mm-hmm. like, I've never experienced this. How do I play this character? But obviously you've had a lot of... Oh, I know exactly yeah. how to play this character. Yeah, it, was there yeah. anyone specifically that you drew from that you're like, oh, I kind of want to have this swag. I kind of want to have this and that. Or it's kind of a, a bunch of different things. I mean, there was a, a lot of females that when I, when I was growing up, right. they, I, I hung out with a lot of older women. Right. Mm-hmm. I was 16, they were 36. Mm-hmm. And they had... Furs and mm-hmm. yeah. jewelry and, and, and men, but most of their men were in prison mm. or dead, and they were raising their children on their own. And their swag was on a million. It was mm. always fly, always <laughs> dripping with jewelry, yeah. hair, or just always. And, and so that's who I grew up mimic, mimicking. Like right. those mm. are my heroes to this day. So it became me. So. It, it, it's, it's nothing to give Monet all of that because I'm kind of we, you know, I am Monet, yeah, that's fine. but you know, not Monet, but you know, just she ain't killing nobody, but she's Monet. <laughs> just who you know, just who she who she is, and to go to murder, you know, people, mm. I have to go some, to some really dark places that you know happened in my personal life, like mm. not too long ago, mm. you know, just things where I have to have to think about, right. Like, mm. Like real, you know, things that people thought they got away with. Mm. They did get away with it, but with Monet, they don't get yeah, away yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, no, with right. Monet, it's a different story. Yeah. Right. Don't try it. Do, do you have any, um, like, what's your process? If you if you see a scene, day of, depending on what it is, do you have different processes? So like, okay, I have to kill someone today, or okay, yeah. I have to be funny. Because people don't know, like, you're really fucking nah, funny. Right. Like, you had, a couple <laughs> of weeks ago, you had me dying oh, yeah, on set. Yo, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't say anything about about this oh, season yet. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> had me dying. I'm like, Mary is really funny. Is there anything specific like day-to-day, uh, depending on the scene, do you prepare? Or? No, I just trust the work. Right. Meaning mm-hmm. like whatever's there, like my personality, I am funny, you right. know? Mm-hmm. You know, I can be a monster, right. you mm-hmm. know? And I trust that work, you know, and I just take it to the next level mm-hmm. with, Mo- with Monet. Like if I have to m- murder somebody, I think about the times that I, how angry I was and I stepped out of myself and was like, oh God, like that's mm-hmm. horrible. Right. I use that person mm-hmm. for, for Monet. Yeah. And my, you know, my fun person is just, you know, it's just, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's just what it is. When, right. when, I, when I'm comfortable. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, exactly. when I'm not comfortable, just, you're not getting anything. Yeah, nah, nah, right. yeah, that's a fact. That's, that's me. Like when I'm, yeah. not, when I'm not comfortable around people, I, I just be observing. Right. If I'm comfortable yeah. around you, I'll be like the loudest person you yeah, ever I met. Yeah, I noticed probably. that about you. When I first started working with you, you was we crickets. Mm-hmm. I was yeah, like, gosh, you don't know I love him. <laughs> don't find out how, how protected he is. Oh, man. Find out how- yo, it was crazy, bro. On this, I'm, bro, it was like the first day I'm on set with Mary. I'm like, obviously we met at the table reading shit, but like, now we working. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what her process is. I don't know if she like, if she want to, if she want to talk. I don't know if she just be locked in. So I was just like, I was just like, mm. <laughs> Look, I, I was a little nervous. Around. I just be sitting around like, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm saying a little something that I was like, let me leave him alone. I don't want to push up too. <laughs> you know, it's it's so funny because he's probably thinking like, oh my God, it's Mary J. Blige. Like, just be yeah, cool. Just yeah, be cool. Bro, I'm like, you guys are both doing that to each other? <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, dude. Oh and then I'd just be sitting back. I'm like, damn, I'm really, like, me and her be talking. Like, we would talk about like Julia clothes or something. I'm like, I really just had this conversation with Mary. Like, right, right. <laughs> just be, I'd be like, damn. That was the crazy. first time I ever worked with Michael. We didn't say one word to each other. Season five of Power. Not yeah. one word to each other. The, literally, mm-hmm. the only words we exchanged was the words on the, on the scene, yeah. on, on the sides. Like, mm-hmm. I said, what's up to him? And that's it. And then, like, he came back the next season and we just clicked. The episode where 50 directed, because 50 directed 603, mm-hmm. that's when we really, like, kind of... Mm-hmm. Because 50 is very, like, yeah, um, he, very, like, breaks the ice. Mm-hmm. He makes it fun on yeah. set. Have, have, he didn't direct... No, he hasn't directed anything. Anything of ghosts, so you. No, you but he's that. fun though. I, right. I know Fifty. He's right. a lot. Of, all right. I do is laugh. I, I get on the phone with Fifty. I be laughing for like yes. the whole Owl. time Owl. I'm Owl. on there. And but he's super. He got so he's much a genius. wisdom. Right. Like genius. He, a genius. Right. Yeah. He came to set season. One at the end of season one, one. Yeah. he came both, but and he started talking about like actual filmmakers and directors. I was like, oh, he really knows. Right, he be, like, he's not he just, knows what's up. He's right. not just in here just to be in here. Like he knows. Yo, Fifty right. knows what's going on. Right. Yeah. That's why I love Fifty, bro. Yeah. He would have you on the phone for like an hour and thirty minutes. <laughs> I swear to life, bro. And when Fifty called me, I know I can't be doing nothing because I'm gonna be on the phone with him for a good minute. I swear yeah. to God, last time he called me, he was on the phone for almost two hours, bro. Yeah. just chopping it up. And then uh, same thing when I be chopping over Mary, I was like, damn, I was just on the phone with 50. Like, yeah, yeah. it's crazy, bro. Yeah. He literally just be calling me, checking up on me. I'm like, damn, yeah. it's my idol. You know, I, lo- I love you. I love your work ethic. And I just want to s- congratulate you, Thank you for surviving Tariq that mm-hmm. everybody hated. <laughs> right. <laughs> the Tariq that we love. And if it wasn't for you, we, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't have ghosts. Right. So, I appreciate that. 
appreciate thank you. that. For, thank you for that for, for <laughs> that staying means, alive. <laughs> what, what was yeah, your that means a lot. <laughs> what was your initial uh, like when they told you the show was going to be about Tariq? Mm. Were you like this isn't going to work? <laughs> nah. I, I, you trust I, it, right? I trust, I, right? Because I, tr- I, I trust Courtney mm-hmm. and I trust Fifty, mm-hmm. and I seen what kind of actor Mike, Michael Rainey is right. in in um in power. I said he's if you can have people holding a gun up to the, to the TV, <laughs> pissed off at you, yeah, that mean, he can transition right. into something else. And when I saw him on the first when we on the first uh, uh, episode that we worked on, on together, right. I was like, oh, he's a genius. He's yeah. out of here. <laughs> he's transitioning yeah. from this young kid that everybody hates to this older uh, guy that's trying to survive, you know, and he's just doing it so good and, I, and right. he's so believable. So I was, not, I was not worried at all because yeah. I love power and I, and I, I love Michael Rainey, period. Like, yeah, everybody you. was hating Tariq. I don't <laughs> love him. But we love, we love him, you know? Thank so much. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you, you kind of saw, like, what Tariq was going through early on in Ghost because you're yeah. like, oh, that's why he is the way he is. Mm-hmm. You had yeah. to get everyone on board. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, you know, and then it was, yeah. It's crazy how you, you was like, you believe, you was like, you was ready because when they told me I was going to have my own show, I was like, bro, what are y'all thinking? Like, yeah. 50 pulled me to the side. He said, yo, you got to get ready because after this, you know, you, you're going to be leading your own show. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how, bro? Who's going to watch a show about Tariq? Like, nobody likes Tariq. And then he was like, just get ready. And then Courtney told me the next, like, two weeks after that or some shit like that. And then I was like, damn, it's real. So I was just like, yeah. they hate me now, but we're going to have to do what it do. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to make yeah. it work. Yeah. Listen, I have girls ask me, what's up with Tariq? I get his number. Y'all went from, what's up, baby? I yeah. need this nigga to, oh my God, I need, this, I need his number. Like older women, I'm like, son, he's 20 years old. <laughs> I'm 26. Send him my way. Send him hey, my way. <laughs> the older the berries, yeah. sweetie. Look at the black of the berries. You didn't say the older the berries. <laughs> The black of the man. Oh my Stay god. <laughs> Maybe you live under a rock. I don't have Wi-Fi. You know what time it is. It's my get favorite me, get time. Get me, get me, get me. See? Okay. Yeah, so right, now you yeah, you always mess it up. Anyways, we're gonna talk to you about you our friends at Money Lion. Uh we're giving away money. Yeah. Look, listen, my slogan is get money. GM, but we giving money. Yeah, today. I'm basically you know Ellen DeGeneres, except I don't yell at interns. So <laughs> um, basically, uh, if you guys have lived under a rock for the past, <laughs> Dave's laughing, but it's funny. Um, if you guys have lived under a rock for the past, I don't know, ten episodes, we're giving away money with yes, our partners weekly, at Money, money Lion. Money Lion, we love, we love them. Yes, they're so generous, baby. Like, come on. Yes, giving away money. So. How do we? How do? How do you log in? Like how you? How you sign up? You download the Money Lion app. Okay. And you create you your roar tag. tag right? Yep. And then it puts a dollar in the pot. But first, you got to use the referral code. The crew has it. Yes. Use the referral code. The crew has it, or else they ain't gonna know that your boy sent you, and then the podcast gonna get shut down. Yeah. And there's not gonna be no more money in the podcast. Yeah. No more have money. To use this. You guys won't get. And then there's no more power people on the podcast. So basically, <laughs> you just have to use the promo code. The crew has it, and yeah, a dollar goes into the pot. Yeah, but yeah. Mike, what are we about to do? What are we doing? We're giving we giving away some money. About to give away, we giving some, away money. some money. If you're watching on the TV, make sure you scan the QR code. We don't know where it's gonna be. Dave says it's gonna be here. He always lies to us. He'd be fucking us up. But yes. or if not, you could just click the link in the bio. Click the link in the bio below. Who's the first winner for this week? Our first winner for this week. How much is it, Dave? $175. Ooh. We got BMG underscore Woods. Woods. Damn. Does a bear shit in the woods? Nope, but they want $175, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, our second, I don't, the name is kind of a little funny, but our second winner is N underscore Salty. Mmm, Salty. <laughs> is that what it is? What do you mean, bro? How much, <laughs> how much did they win, Dave? <laughs> 200 oh, they won $200? You salty motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> so our third winner yep. is It's Shasia. I don't it's know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think that's it. Yep. It's Shasia. She won $230. $230. Bro, we just bless everyone, huh? Yes. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's our friends at Money Lion. It's not really our money. <laughs> thank you. We love Money Lion. Money Lion bless the people. So our fourth winner is, is TJ, TJ Rice. Rice. How, how much, much did they win, Dave? $185. Oh, $185? $185. Bro, that's like my monthly membership at Equinox. Free month, Equinox. Let's go. $185. Thank you, Money Lion. Okay, so our last winner is Jarrell01. He won $210. dollars yes, is what Dave just said. Yes, $210. $210, baby. Come on. Go Download the Money Lion app, not .com, on the app, and use the code, the crew has it, yes. for your chance to, to win some money. Yes. You guys don't even do anything. At the end of the year, we're giving away 100 bands. Right. 
You just watch a fire podcast and you're getting free money. It's like, come on, we have money, Lion Meops. We love money, Lion. Uh, so, what, like, what was your first acting role where you actually, maybe not like a guest star, but something that you're like, I had to dig deep for this. Like, what was something that, because oh. you, you've been nominated for literally everything, Screen Actors Guild, yeah. Academy Awards, all this stuff. So yeah. what was something that you're like, oh, I actually had to, like, dig deep and not just be merry, you Mudbound. know? Mudbound. Mudbound, all right. Mudbound. I, I, like, people didn't, when we went to the premiere for it, people didn't even know I was in the movie. Because you just I was transformed. completely just transformed. I got, my hair was like in an afro. Right, right. <laughs> and we couldn't wear no makeup. We couldn't wear nails. We couldn't wear uh, lashes. And mm. we had to have these like old timey, like, you know, dresses right. on. And, but I had, but I was going through hell in my personal life. And so I used mm. the silence that I had in my personal life because I, I didn't say a lot. I just was plotting a lot. Right. Mm. And I used that for this woman in the 40s because women in the 40s, you know, Florence, that was the character's mm -hmm. name, they couldn't speak they, they weren't as boisterous as we are now because the men w were the more dom dominated force. Mm -hmm. So I used my silence as you know as power in, in this in this movie. And um, when I spoke, people went crazy. They didn't even know it was me, you know. Mm -hmm. And when I rang the chicken's neck and broke the chicken, <laughs> you gotta see the movie. It's crazy. It's, uh, like, yeah, it's, it's an old school. It's called Mudbound. Yep. And um, that's the movie I got nominated for for an Oscar for because crazy. I completely disappeared and, and and just completely lost Mary. Like right. I, I went and tapped into my grandmother mm. and my 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 aunts, my, you know, my my older aunts. So that's you know yeah, so, so, yeah. Stuff. that's fire. Was it but people was it, did not even know you was in the movie. That's yeah. how you know you was locked in. Yeah. It's a whole <laughs> different like that's tough. That's yeah. super fire. That's a great compliment, honestly. Yeah. That's yeah. fire. Was Thank it, you. Was it tough for you? Like obviously being Mary and going on stage and all these people and then all of a sudden taking off your nails, your and just kind of getting into it? You know, at that point in my life, I didn't even care because I had lost all of this, you know, inside that horrible situation I was in. I didn't yeah. even know if I was beautiful, if I was... I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't care because it nothing mattered to me, right. nothing. So I just vanished. I was really gone. Like, I was in real life gone. So, excuse me, fuck the nails, fuck the hair, mm, fuck it all. Yeah. I'm going in because right. I don't have anything else to lose. I really, In my real life, I didn't have nothing to lose. Right. So I just went... Gave, gave the whole thing to the lady. Yeah. You you were nominated that year with um, Octavia Spencer and mm -hmm. Allison Janney. I was shooting a movie with both of them in Mississippi. They took a private jet to uh, the Oscars, uh -huh. and then they were back on Monday. And I literally remember watching Mary, uh, Octavia, and Allison. And I think it was one more person who was nominated. It might have been Emma Stone, maybe. Yeah. And I just remember, that's when I watched Mudbound right after that. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, that's you didn't fire. even know it was Mary. It was crazy. That's yeah. Super, yeah. <laughs> I sort of, I sort of... Listen, when they was passing the pictures around, because you know I had to take the daily pictures of you mm. when we were on set, and I, I, I saw a picture of myself, I, I broke down and cried, not out of happiness, just out of how homely I look. I just was like, <laughs> right. oh my God, this is fucked up. But... <laughs> Oh, oh, oh right. well. Right, right. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, those are some of the best roles, though. You get mm -hmm. get to really, like, not be who you are. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm similar to Brayden in ways, and mm -hmm. Michael's similar. I'm a similar. little similar to Rick in yeah, a way, yeah. but not in a way. But, like, eh, it... Hand in hand, I don't know. Right. But we have similarities. Mm -hmm. We all have similarities to all of our characters. Yeah, I'm like. similar to Monet. Oh, yes, you know, sure. I, I love clothes mm -hmm. and jewelry. <laughs> that you got some and jewelry. Flashes. Yeah. Flashes. Yeah. Flashes. <laughs> don't play with Mary. Don't play yeah. with Monet. Don't play with neither of them. <laughs> when it comes to the fly shit, they got it on a lot. Yeah. But yeah, though, like, I don't know. Like, just being, like, having, having, what the fuck was I just about to say? Having relations to, like, your character actually helps, though, because, like, it's just like, okay, I went through this in real life. Boom, throw this right on the camera. But right. then being a whole character that you've never been, like, you know, it's, that's tough. Yeah, because you're, 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 you're bringing you to it. Yeah. You're bringing your life experiences to it, no matter what the role is, whether you play a fucking alien. Like, mm -hmm. you're yeah. still kind of embodying yourself and, and doing that. And I think that's what I love about acting, because every person is different. Yeah. And no matter what every role, like, you're going to bring your some type of yourself to it. Like, we all yeah. have a murderer in us, deep <laughs> down. Like, yes, we all yes. have s s different parts of us, yes. stuff that's <laughs> ugly. But I'm yes. just saying, like, <laughs> and then different, and that'll come out, you know what I mean? Like... That's I don't know. Fact. That's why I just think I, I I love what we do, and and I'm just I'm happy about the, show. the best job. Yeah, to me. yeah. the best job. Yeah. Me. So who who is your favorite uh, character on the original Power? Man, I I, I had well. <laughs> At the time, who wasn't Teresa? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, he made me sick. Ah! I'm yelling at the TV with everybody else. But um, I, I, I mean, it was it was the whole ensemble was mm. was amazing. 
And, 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 and you loved Tariq him. because you, you, he played his part so well, you, right. you hated him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you loved Ghost because he was so hot and sexy and <laughs> fine and his sex scenes was nuts. <laughs> and, and, and you loved him, but you hated him too. Right. For, for the, and, and then you loved Tasha, but you hated her too. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and because it was just so much, you loved everybody to, 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 to hate them. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's good acting. So yeah. I think, and, and, and um, Joe, as, as Tommy, he was, he was, yeah. um, yeah. I mean, amazing. Just right. perfect. Yeah. Shout out to Uncle Tommy. Shout everybody, out to Uncle yeah. bit, whoever, everybody that was on the show mm. was was yeah. was crazy, and that, that's why we watched it. Yeah, I think that's what made Power so great is everyone just had so many faults. Mm. Yeah. So people just related to being like, because a lot of shows there's uh, perfect people, and yeah. Power yeah. was just nobody's perfect people. in Power. Ain't right. nobody everybody's perfect. Power. Like yeah. right now, Ghost is cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. Especially when we've yeah. been reading yeah, right now. Bro, this, right now, this, this season's season crazy. Man. <laughs> yeah. This, <laughs> this is crazy. Like, <laughs> everybody like, like Monet is a, a terrible. Like, she's a horrible person. Yeah, right. right. They go Wait, crazy. Do, you, do you think Monet is a good mother? She's a great mother. Mm-hmm. The um the way she knows how to be a great mother. Right. But she, the mm-hmm. way she does things, she does it selfishly for her, but for her children and for her family. But anybody can get it though. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Anybody mm-hmm. can get it that mess with her kids right. and that mess was messes with her freedom. Mm-hmm. You know, her her freedom and and we don't want to get into it, but her freedom was being messed with. Right. So mm-hmm. somebody had to go. She wasn't with it. She wasn't with it. She wasn't with it. She was oh, that's with it. hilarious. So did did doing ghost kind of uh you know they say like don't meet your heroes. D- did it kind of being on your favorite show? Did it ruin it a little bit for you? Like, can you watch it the same, or do you have different inklings? Like when you watch it? No, I I watch it. You still watch <laughs> Ghost and Yo, you're like I, invested. I, Cause I, I was scared to watch myself, but I said fuck it, I gotta watch it for everybody else. Right. Mm-hmm. And while I'm watching it, I'm watching everything, and but I'm and I'm like oh shit, oh that's crazy that <laughs> what I did that I did right there. But I'm watching. <laughs> you're like damn, I was wild. <laughs> <laughs> you like damn, I was fucking this episode. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's so fire. So this is a question that we usually ask. Uh, Everyone, uh, if you could bring back one dead character from Power, who would you bring back? Mm. One dead ghost. Mm. You would be ghost. 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 Yeah. 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 Not, yes. Ghost. Everyone still thinks he's alive, but <laughs> yeah, they think they think ghost is. Totally Do you alive, think he's he still thinks he's alive? I think he's he gonna pop up somewhere. I didn't, like, <laughs> I didn't see him in the casket. <laughs> <laughs> he's here. He's here that's somewhere. They be, that's what they be saying. But they say we ain't see no casket, so he's still alive. That's what they be saying. I'm like, right. I didn't see his body <laughs> in right. the casket, so. He might be on his way back. <laughs> he might be Monet's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's so crazy. Yo, that would be crazy. Right. Yo, that right. would be OD. Because everyone <laughs> always comes up. Because I'm in some of the power groups because of the podcast. I like to see what people are posting and keeping up with um, anonymously. <laughs> and everyone posts every day, Ghosts Alive. And then it'll be like this whole entire thing of how, oh, we saw this, we saw that. I'm like, oh my God. God, like they, they just people can't yeah, give nah, it up. They're not, yeah, they're not giving it up, bro. Right, they but it, say, it's an it's an ode to how good like Omar oh, yeah, was. Oh yeah, for sure. Because they, they don't want to let it go. Yeah, facts. They can't let it go. Yeah, I was yeah. sad. I was sad. I was like, come on, you can't kill. Yeah, man. You yeah. can't kill ghosts. Yeah, like what are we doing? Yeah. Like what are we doing? They told me I had to. I was like, oh. yeah. And what's so amazing is you did it. Right. And I'm like, and man. people people under they understand it now. Mm-hmm. Right. That is a fact. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty. It, it is pretty understood. Like. Tariq did what he had to do for the family, you know what I'm saying? Like, Reek would have been in jail right now. Mm-hmm. Mommy would have been in jail. Yep. Ghost would have been the only nigga cooling right now. <laughs> he would have been the only one chilling right now. So, did you know <laughs> that they they filmed everyone killing Ghost? Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. every, like you know, because the last cause the last season of Power was 15 episodes instead of 10. So, the last five was, like, Ghost's death from everyone's perspective. So, it was... So, the first episode... the first The first of it was... Um, who who's whose uh, point of view was it? It, it was like I remember it was Dre. It was Blanca, uh, Blanca, uh, right? Blanca was it? No, no, not Blanca. Um, Paz, Paz, yeah. Angela's sister. Yeah, um, Dre, Dre, Shane. Yeah, I did Shane. see that. Mm-hmm. I saw. Yeah. I saw. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But but they filmed because of the leaks. Mm-hmm, yeah. uh, they didn't want to know who killed, who actually killed Ghost. Mm-hmm. So they filmed the Turi killing him. Mm-hmm. They filmed who else? They Shane. Filmed, yeah, Shane. They filmed Shane. They filmed. So they shot the scene as if everyone killed him, but mm-hmm. the one that made it was Michael. So I remember seeing a leak on Twitter, yeah. and it was Naturi killing Ghost. You saw, you saw that? Yeah. Damn. It, it got released somehow. That's wow. But crazy. because they wanted to hide all the leaks. 
Damn. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know that, that. until re- for that. Right. Because, yeah, they, I ain't gonna lie, because Power always had issues with leaking. Like, every season, right. something was getting leaked. Like I could be wrong. I don't know. Courtney's probably listening to this episode like, he's wrong. Because she texts me after every episode. <laughs> she's like, uh, she's like, well, this and this and this. But uh, I think that was the case. That's we'll have to fact check that. That's crazy. But yeah. we definitely did film everyone killing, killing uh, Ghost. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah. That was it's a tough scene, bro. That was a tough scene, bro. That was crazy. That was hard for you? Hell yeah, it was hard for me. Because, like, one, you know, you saying goodbye to, like, someone like that. I learned a lot from you know, just being on set with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, saying yeah. goodbye to him, saying goodbye to the character, you know, the character that we all love. And then just, like, also, I'm like, damn, like, I really got to kill my pops. Like, it, it just yeah. felt crazy. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. you know, but listen, we did it. It was it was a crazy scene. It looked fire. It came yeah, out fire. You so. had to find that too. Yeah, not for sure. Like you, you, that looked real. So yeah, had yeah. to find that. That had like, to be that, that horrible was emotional. for you. Especially yeah. for me and O, like that was emotional for us because you know we we've been through a lot on this set. Right. I learned so much from him. Like I love him. So it was crazy. It was it's crazy. Your, it's it was your a, family. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's family right there. So Th- was, so this question will be both for, uh, for both of you. Uh, what was your hardest scenes you filmed in the Power Universe? Mm. Like the hardest day you remember on set. The hardest thing you had to do. Mm. Shit. Uh, I think I just had mine. Everything else was cake, but the, the scene I had the other day was like... Oh, Reese, it was season three. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh. Right, oh. right, right. But I had to do yep. what Moni <laughs> had to do. Right. What Moni had to do, but Mary was like, oh. Right. Man, <laughs> yeah. This is this woman's terrible. Right, right, right. And it, it just, it, my heart, you know, because I... I, you end up loving people, right. you know, and respecting people that you work with. And then you get a soft spot. Right. And mm-hmm. then you got to do some terrible shit. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, this is bad. Yeah. I know. It's, <laughs> dude, that's crazy because you any other show, like, did a lot of people die off of Umbrella Academy or, or Umbrella Academy or no? No, they killed us first. So mm-hmm. I don't know who's dead. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but on this show, like, people die almost every other episode. Yeah, so it's like, goodbye. And then you really don't yeah. see them again. So I had a few hours. It's sad. I'm not going to lie. Like. Definitely one of them was um, was Tasha getting arrested right. for ghost murder. Because that was literally our last day of filming Power. Like, that was the last day. We ended the day of... the end of the, We ended the series of with um, with Tasha getting arrested. So that was a tough scene because everybody was, like, you know, saying bye to each other. Right. Just like, mm. It was just a crazy day. That was literally the last thing we, we did for Power. And then, obviously, you know, Killing Kanan, that was a crazy scene for me, too. Because, yeah. like... Kanan was a character that, like, that's, like, one of the first characters that Tariq actually had, like, love for and and one of the first characters that understood Tariq, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, killing Kanan was crazy. Um, what else? Yeah, those two. Yeah, those two. And obviously, killing Ghost. But, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's yeah. been a lot of tough scenes. Yeah, yeah. The, I think, like, the, the sex scenes are always, like, because you're, like, I got to make my body look good. I got to, like, those are always, like... I'm, I'm not doing it. I, I haven't, I, I'm just not doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. I, 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 don't, I, I, I haven't arrived there yet. Yeah, yeah, nah, I ain't <laughs> not even for no movies. Right, like, right. I'm just, like, chill for a second. Right, yeah, nah, right. I, you know, I know. It's, 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 weird. it's weird to me. I don't know. I can't do it. Dude, <laughs> I watched... Have you done, like, a full-on sex scene uh, or not? I wouldn't... Nah, like, it was, like... Simulated like like it showed that we oh, did with Effie, with, right? no 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 with um with Lauren oh right with Lauren right when, in two. her in her in her dorm room but right. like it that was like the most that was like the most intense like intimacy scene I've had to do other yeah. than that, I ain't going they tried to get me show my ass I was not playing. I was like hell no I'm do it you yeah, pussy hell no hell no I'm have all my men's watching the show be like you had your ass on. I'm like no I'm not jacking that bro like it was weird because like they wanted me to stand up and then like like feel me nah, I'm not doing that Ghost's ass was out I watched the pilot of Power <laughs> that's, what, that's why we was watching that's what I'm saying Mike we need he was having a sex students. scene every nobody week see my we ass, man. see that right nobody wants to see my ass bro some of those early sex <laughs> Scenes, some of those early sex scenes in Power were different. Nah, I'm like, insane. this is literally nah, like, like nah, softcore porn. Nah, yeah, they be dope. Amazing. They, yo, right. dumb shits is art, bro. Like, they really yeah. was going crazy. I'm like, damn. Yeah, Everybody be asking me, like, yo, they was like, yo, they ever really be... I'm like, bro, no. Like, <laughs> right. Oh, I actually do have to clarify that because that's a question that we get all the time. Mm-hmm. It's not real sex. Yeah, like, nah. they, it, you, you, like, there's something that covers everything. Like, it's it's fully... And people are like, well, do you get aroused? It's like, I don't know. There's <laughs> 75 people in the room with a light in your face. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't weird. can't really get aroused. Right. You know what it's I mean? Weird. Exactly. Weird. So we'll, we'll clarify that. Yeah, nah, it's not yeah. real, y'all. For everybody that's been asking me, like, yo, they be really... No. no. 
And I wasn't even on set at the time. Like, they, that's closed set shit. So right. I would never yeah, there's only Yeah, there's only, like, a certain amount of people who can... Mm-hmm. Yeah, this and that. So those ghost sex scenes, though? Yeah, nah, yeah, they was wild. Wait, well, like, or the original Mario ones? Oh, yeah, yeah. they was wild. Yeah. Yeah. It was wild. <laughs> it just was like, come yeah, on. Yeah. It, was, it was wild. <laughs> <laughs> it came... The first episode came on like that for the season with right. him and... um. Uh, Tasha. Yeah, mm-hmm. the editor, yeah. We was like, whoa, Jesus. Yeah, we actually just watched that episode back not too long ago, and I was like, yo. It's it, it, it's the flashback in his head for when he kills the guy in the um in, in the, the club. club. On the, under the and club, then yeah. he's like, he's like, uh, he, dude, he looks shredded. Yeah, nah, he Wait, was ripped. Right. I'm getting like oh. that. Next season, don't worry. You, you getting the next season? Yeah, give me some HGH. <laughs> 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 okay. All right, so we got to take a quick break. I know we're talking to an absolute goat right now, but we got to talk to you about our friends at Via Hemp. Via. Yeah, yes, Via Hemp. Via Hemp, because apparently Dave was telling us it was Via Hemp for two episodes. Smoothballs Dave, what the Smooth fuck? Balls bro? Dave boned us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you know we're still filming season three right now. We're also doing the podcast. We got a production company. We got a lot going on. So yeah, the boys been doing a lot. Mm-hmm. So we done teamed up with the preferred cannabis brand for performance. Yes. Via Hemp, baby. Yes, dispensary grade THC right here via hemp. <laughs> I'm cooked. <laughs> so Mike, I know you know you're a little bit well versed in this in this category than me. What are the what are the effects and and positive things with via hemp? So it's three. They got Focus, mm-hmm. sleep, and anxiety relief. So these just, just make you feel good. Bro. I need all that. So then you got the you got the white peach flavor, you got mm-hmm. the snozberry flavor, and the pink lemonade flavor. My favorite is honestly the pink lemonade. I'm not gonna. Oh, uh, you're gonna say the peach. I like the nah, peach. Nah, pink yeah. lemonade is fire. Yeah. Free sample pack of the snozberry. Yes, the snozberry. And then tell, tell them the discount, Mike. And you get what? What? Fifteen percent? Fifteen percent off. And you use the code. Crew. So did you, did you watch from the original like day one? It came out. You were like supporting fifty, or did you catch on later? Day one. Mm-hmm. Day one. Power. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Nah, Mary's yeah, an people OG. don't know like Mary's really an OG. Like she's an yeah. OG power fan. For we sure. talked about and which which episode did we talk? It was Woody's episode mm-hmm. where we talked about where we both met Mary, mm-hmm. and and we were saying so. Tell him like when, wait, 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 when the first day at the table, read? right? Yeah. So it was it was crazy because like obviously. Like, I don't really, like, vividly remember that day now. Now that I think of it, you just put me on the spot. <laughs> but, like, they told me that Monet, I mean, Monet was going to be married and shit. And, like... And I had no idea. Yeah, that was, he had no you idea. Walked in, I, I was knew. like... <laughs> I knew. Like, I knew you. I knew he was going to be at the table read, but I was still... I'm like, damn. So, I see you, and you smiling and shit. I'm like, what the... Like, yeah. see, he's mad happy to see me right now. I'm like, ain't no way Mary is as happy to see me as I am to see her. I was like, what? <laughs> like, this is Mary. And she's like... Happy to meet you. I love you. To re- I'm like, what? Like, and like, I never really knew that she was tuned into power yeah. until until she got on the show because like that's when she started telling. Her. I'm like, what? Yeah. She's like, I love to read. I'm like, you do. I'm yeah. like, where? Are you? Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. And bro. then I walked up to Mary and I was like, hey, uh, I'm Braden. Uh, my name's Gianni. I play Braden, and, and I can't say it, but this is what you said to me. What, what did I say? I said, I, I said, nigga, that's Mary. Like, what did I no, say? no, no. Because I, I went up to her. I was like, I was like, hi. Uh, you know, I'm Bra- I'm Gianni. I play Braden, mm. and she said. I know who you are. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She was like, nigga, I know who you are. Yeah, that's what she said. Like, thanks, man. I was like, I went over. Yeah. And then we we had all the food. And I went and sat down next to Mike. I was like, dude, that was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, nigga, I know who you. I was like, yeah. <laughs> he was mad. He's like, yo, man, yo, I am. I'm like, what, bro? This is crazy. Like, how? Like, how? Like, how are you? Like, how are you? As happy as I am to see you. Right. This is really legendary Mary right here in front <laughs> Look, I'm of looking at all y'all. Like, I know, like, I know exactly. Yeah, right. She's like, nigga, I know who you are. You yeah, over here right. Nigga, I know who you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was a stand almost, a power stand, like the way I used to be That's yeah. watching that shit. That's really fire. So it's, it's definitely cool to be on it now, right? To yeah, be in the world, right? Yeah. Just from, from being a stand, like a, a power fan, mm-hmm. to now just in the universe. Like, oh, you like that. Oh, that's it's fire. a beautiful thing. It, I'm, I'm so grateful, man. That's I'm why, that's why I think I have to thank you for, like, Surviving that shit. Yeah, thank, thank you, Mike. I got a Rolex out here. And, 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 and flipping it to. Yeah, I'm happy that that we yeah. were able to. Cause obviously, like I said, when I first when I first got the news, I was like, bro, like I don't know how this is gonna work. And then like you know, we got the scripts and everything. I'm like, okay, this is making sense. I feel like people could could you know resonate with this. They could they see what Tariq went through and why he's becoming who he became. I'm like, okay, so we just getting deeper into the season. I'm like, yeah, this is gonna work. It's gonna work, and we can. We we aired. 
Killing shit. Killing Over. It. Mm-hmm. Over. Yeah, Courtney's a, a, a beast. A beast mm-hmm. now. I'm, like, I'm happy we turned that shit around. I'm yeah. like, yes. Yeah. You lit. Yeah. Uh, have, have people been calling you Monet? Like, has that has that? That's started? all they call me is Monet now. Yo. They don't even call me Mary. I'm like, yo, Monet. Yo, Auntie Monet. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, my name is Mary. <laughs> yo. <laughs> give, give Mary a break. Can I live? <laughs> right? That's what I, I was saying this the other day. Like, because I'd I be like, how, like... They be always calling us by our TV name. I'm right. like, bro, like, my name is Michael. You feel me? But then I'm like, listen, now they calling Mary Monet. I can't even get mad. Like, right, I, can't, right. I can't even get mad that they calling me Tariq. They calling Mary Monet. That's how you know they really love the show. Like, they really in the universe. Like, they really feel like they know these characters. Right. So Son, like, they ain't even giving me a break. Like, <laughs> I'm going up, I'm at the BET Awards. I'm going up there to get my award. They like, yo, mm-hmm. Auntie Monet. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mary right now. I, I had the slippery shoes and I wanted to be like, I'm fucking. <laughs> or, or, or the Super Bowl when the Super Bowl thing happened and they're like uh, all those memes went around oh, like, yeah. Why is, <laughs> right. they like, when they like, found out that Zeke died and it was too late yo back. that was crazy I'm like yo they going crazy with the memes I said yo when they say when they who, who tweeted that shit I think ESPN or something like yeah, it was ESPN, literally like yeah. sports it was sports center sports center, center yeah sports right. center they tweeted Mo, they said Monet when Monet when she found out I was like yo when you fell back yo I'm I'm like, what, bro? Like, sports center is right. doing then. Like, that's crazy. Do you see that stuff immediately? Like, when you get off stage, you're on your phone, you see all the memes? Like, well, I don't look at, I don't do that. People show me stuff. Right. Like, look at they saying mm. this, they're saying this, because I don't really okay. mess with that shit. Right. Right. <laughs> Comments and all that. I throw my pictures up, I throw my videos up, I throw my advertisements mm. up, and I get walk away. Right. Mm-hmm. People be like, yo, look what they saying right here. So, like, mm. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, it's it's, it's all Monet. Everything is Monet now. <laughs> like, it's Auntie, and Auntie Monet. Oh gosh. That's how you. That's how you know. That's how you know they really locked in. That's yeah. how you know they love the characters. Like yeah, yeah. They matter yeah. to us. They 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 not gonna let it go. Yeah. Do, yeah. do you remember your first day on set or like what it was like? What I scene do. you did? Was it was it tough? Was it fun? Was What's it both? the first scene that you did? The first scene that we we first first episode scene we did was when Zeke came home. Well, mm. Zeke came. He was going to the party. Yeah, the party. party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was the first. That was a fun day. That was a fun ass day. That was was fun. That That was was a lot of people's first scene because it was toys. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, everybody met. Yeah, yeah, that's when everybody got introduced to each other. Yeah, I was. I was nervous. I was. Yeah, I was so nervous, but I was like, "Excuse me, fuck them nerves." (laughs) Right. Your character don't give a shit about nerves and bust these. Right. You know, yeah. talk do, shit. Yeah. Just say whatever. Say and, whatever. And, 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 and kick whatever. ass tonight. Yeah, and, I, right. and I did that. I, I put my savage on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was on and popping from that day on. Yeah. <laughs> because that's where that's where Monet had to set the tone. Yeah, like, she that's set the tone with that. That's the scene that day. where yes. he came out with a gun. It was real. It was real. He came yes, with a gun. Yes. And you had to, he was like, yes. you said him, you said him straight. I was like, yeah, <laughs> this is lit. This is lit. They about to love Monet. Like yeah. the the gangsterness was right there off rip. I'm like, yup, it's lit. So excluding season three, like obviously we can't say anything much yet. Is there anything that you're like, I want Monet to do this? Um, I think Monet is doing everything that she she wants to do. And next season, it's probably going to even be ham. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. love that. Yeah. They are not ready for this next this, season. This 10? Right. Yeah. Crazy. Oh my. Yeah, no, we just started shooting yeah, episode 10. Crazy. Boy. Episode 10. What? I cannot wait. All right, we got some fan questions for you and then we'll get you on out of what, here. What's the fans talking about over there? You guys, we got a, that was the, like, Courtney had the second most because mm-hmm. it was everyone asking writing stuff. Bro, I was scrolling this morning for like 20 what, minutes. There's like, so many questions. Like, what, 5,000? Yeah, probably about 5,000 5, questions. Damn. Yeah. Um, so, Hey Young King said, what's your favorite aspect of playing Monet? Your favorite thing about playing Monet? Um, just being able to be an asshole, <laughs> be a murderer. Mm-hmm. And th- those things, I-, I really don't like playing a, a vindictive person or right. whatever. And a, and a strategist. I love being a strategist. Uh, those are my. That's my favorite. Being a strategist, being a murderer, and not giving a shit what people think. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Yeah, that's, that's fun. a fun role to play. Yeah. <laughs> I know it, it is cool when you get to tap into stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I, I get to be a drug dealing badass. Like, mm-hmm. I it's it's cool to come up on set and be able to do do that kind of that stuff shit, and, right? and live like that. It's pretty fun. That's why I think the yeah. most fun part about acting is. Yeah. Just yeah. Being a whole is there anything person. that you want to do next specifically that you're like, like aside from power or you're just riding the wave? Um, there's a lot of shit coming. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I don't know if I can talk about yeah, that yeah. and power, you know what I'm saying? She's working. Right. Yeah, she I'm working. working she's but booked I, and busy. You know, I got... I got tour, I got wine, I got all kind of, you know, stuff yeah. going on in my well, we're life. We're going to plug everything at the end. Whatever okay. you can say, we'll plug all your stuff. Sure, yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. 
What else? All right, so S. Bubba J said, how much of yourself do you see in Monet, personally and professionally? A lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A, a lot. Um, personally, um, I'm, a, I'm a strategist. Uh, professionally, Monet's a strategist. Personally, I know how to act like a whole asshole if I need to. Yeah. A whole asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 a whole asshole. Yeah, yeah. But, um, um, and, uh, and, and I'm a, a, I love hard. Mm-hmm. Monet loves hard and, and, and to the point where it's like destructive. Mm-hmm. Not, you know, it's destructive for her. Right. She loves hard and she she's kind of selfish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of, kind of, you know, the same way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when when you um, met Woody and Toya on set, were because you she, he, Woody said that he was like, "Oh, my son Bobby Brown." That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said your reaction was um, like, "Did you immediately gel with them? Was it a little harder, or did you immediately click with with the Tahadas? You're like, "Oh, these are my kids." I, I think. What I loved about them that everyone has so much manners and respect for mm. each other. You right. know, mm. I have respect for Woody, Latoya, Lavelle, right. um, even Daniel. Like I, I, I ease into people and let them ease back into me because right. I don't like to crowd people's spaces. You mm. know, because I don't know what people are thinking. Mm-hmm. And once we started getting into conversations, like conversations, now everything is like they, mm-hmm. they're my kids. I, yeah, I, yeah. I love them. Like, right. and they're great people. So mm. I like I ease into people and yeah. and, and you know. If you're feeling me, you're feeling me. If you're not, then mm-hmm. fine too, you know? But yeah. turns out everybody's feeling each other and respects each other and, and helps and helps each other. Now you could definitely see that on the screen too. Like y'all, y'all give that 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 family vibe like off perfectly on, on the screen. And yeah, it I translates. Love them. It translates. Yeah. You I'm, could really see it. There's good chemistry. It translates. Yeah, that scene where you had to choke Toya. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love I love LaToya. She's mm-hmm. the best. Because she's a team player. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, sweetie, you're gonna have to help me choke you. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want I'm I, I don't, I don't want to choke you, you for real. <laughs> right. So 50 times, we did yeah. a dance, you know. We always doing a dance. Right. Like I'm mm-hmm. always setting it up where, you know, it looks real, you mm-hmm. know. So it's a it's, it's choreography and everybody helps. Like the last couple of shifts we had to do, mm. oh man, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's Can't crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you what do you think is harder, doing like going on stage and doing a whole like hour show, or or like going on set and and doing being Monet? Um, set and being Monet is really? harder. Mm-hmm. Um, singing, I've been doing that stage. That's not like right, I've yeah, been doing that yeah, for that's... thirty years, <laughs> for a long time. I know. That's crazy. And that's easy. That's that's in front that's of twenty five thousand people. It's nothing. I mean, it, you get nerves right. still mm-hmm. every time, but it's it's it, it's it's what I've it's been what doing. doing. Right. When this is new, you know, like new, still kind of fresh. Although right. I've been acting for some years too now, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's it's that this is this is more of a challenge. Yeah, I feel but like it's also different when you get on stage too, because then you got you feel the music and you're in your in your body, you feel right. the music, you got the vibe, like you get the energy. So it's like it's different. Like Monet is like certain scenes call for certain type of energies, but right. when you on the stage, like it's that that same familiar feeling when, you when, get. Right? On stage, you get so much back. Yeah, right? you get the fi- the fans and, is right there, and people are yelling. Mm-hmm. When that camera's on you, nobody's yelling. Yeah, right? you gotta be the, mm-hmm. the you yell- gotta be the loud. The you loudest. gotta be the energy. Right. Mm-hmm. So. I had to learn how to to find that because I'm really an introvert that mm. nobody really knows about. Yeah, it's you crazy. Know? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so I find it for right. no Monet. I find it like on some Godzilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. I find yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard because when when you're acting, there's a new location, mm. a new you're in new space, new environment, new energy, yeah. and you just have to adapt to whatever's on the page. Where I guess yeah, you're singing you know yeah. songs, you have your set list, and you go and do your thing. Right, and you can't be intimidated by the actor that that you're with mm-hmm. because sometimes. Sometimes you're looking at them and you mm-hmm. think they have responded to something you, that you're doing and they're right. just acting. Right. So you got to block them out and right. do you. you know How good is Woody? How good is working with Woody? Woody's incredible. Is he yeah. not unreal? Yeah. He's incredible. Yeah. Lavelle's incredible too. Right. Like, yeah, um, Lavelle's, yeah. They're, they're, all, these, all these guys are amazing. I just never, I, I have a decent amount of scenes with Woody, mm. but not really Lavelle or, or Toya yeah, much. So. Yeah, we never really see, seen you with, with, with Drew and them really. That, like one, that. that one heist scene. <laughs> yeah, that one heist scene though, yeah. But right. other than that, it's, yeah. It's crazy. So when I work with Woody, I'm like, He's different. Nah, Kane like, is a monster. Yeah. Right. Woody is different. Yeah. yeah. And him playing Kane is like, this guy is really different. Like, he's he's dangerous somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. in his life, he's, <laughs> right. he's some other shit. Yo, <laughs> you had to be. <laughs> right. had to be. Right. I ain't gonna lie, that's really a fact. What, yeah. you, what you was doing in the past? Like, <laughs> right. what you was doing, homie? You were too dark. <laughs> like, yeah, you did. He, he, he real dark. He go like, dark. He, what? Um, and then this last one, Tommy Toon underscore said, which character on the show would you want more scenes with? 
Hmm. Oh, shit. Uh, definitely on this one right here. Mm-hmm. I, I would yeah. love more scenes with him. Um, I keep. I, I think that me and Lavelle are having a lot of scenes together now. Nice. Woody's one of my favorite people. Like we mm. we we bounce off real good. We always giving each other five when we done with our scene. Like, right. yeah, it was yep. crazy. That's how you know you hit one. You like yeah. Yo, yeah. <laughs> and who else? Um Meth. I got me some scenes oh, with Meth. Yeah. I was um just everybody on the show. I wouldn't right. mind running into everybody yeah, on yeah, show. Right. That should have been right. lit. Everybody <laughs> just run into each other in one episode. Like, yeah. Whole everybody, the whole cast just meet each other. That would and be it was weird lit. because yeah. the table read, we used to see everyone, but now. Man, I miss the table reads. This right. Zoom, I'm I know sick of the Zoom. Zoom stuff, man. <sighs> we be in the, in the studio, the Wi Fi be trash. We be disconnected yeah. in the middle of the scene. I'd be like, nah, come yeah. on. Yeah. I watched that yeah. scene uh, earlier this season with you and Woody, and it's you guys do have such like a motherly son mm-hmm. vibe. Yeah, that I, yeah. it's so apparent. I'm like, wow, like the way Woody like looked up to, he's like, but my, like when yeah. he said, you made me like this in season yeah. two, mm. that like, that, that hit, hit home. That hit, like, yeah. You know what broke my heart when he found out that Zeke was my oldest kid mm. and in the middle of that fight, the table was like, so I'm not the oldest. I wanted to pat. So I wanted to cry. <laughs> like Mary wanted to cry. Like, right. oh, so I'm not the oldest. yeah, that's right. painful right there. Yeah. That's pain. What was that scene like? Filming that crazy scene with? Oh, Toya? y'all killed that shit. Oh, oh my god, y'all killed it. First of all, when we, were, we were, was, was rehearsing it, it was done like, okay, this would never be done like this in this household. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So me and Woody went. Um, when we took a break, me and Woody went um, was, was speaking. I said, "Yo, this this is what I want you to do. We're not going to tell nobody what we're going to do, but I'm just going to jump up and try to choke the shit out of uh, Diana, and you're going to stop me." Mm. And that's how that went. That's how that. Oh, whole, so that wasn't even written. Oh, that wasn't even written. Yeah. That was just. So that was me and Woody, like yo, uh, and we surprised everybody. Everybody was like, ah! <laughs> so what was Toy's reaction? Oh, she was looking like she was like, oh. you know that emoji that be like, <laughs> yeah, she was like, like she that was crazy. really, and she was, it was crazy, and they went and got caught, um, um, Shanna and all mm. of them, they went and got Courtney, and, and nobody told Courtney what was gonna happen, and mm. and everybody was standing around, and when the shit happened, everybody was like, oh shit, oh my God. so everybody was like, she. Monet's about to kill her. Right, right, yeah. because Monet, Monet wouldn't <laughs> ever let that happen yeah, she ain't going in her for that. house. Right, we're not sitting that. around a table and, and Latoya's blasting everybody. Right. <laughs> right. 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 guess who's fucking, you fucking too, Ma. I yeah. said, oh, no. <laughs> in my house? We ain't go over that. <laughs> Listen, my mom would have jumped across that table right. and just choked and dragged me all through the house. So I said, I'm going to do what my mom would have did. Right. I'm, I'm a, I'm, this is what we're going to do. Uh, Woody, and that's what we did. We, that's crazy. I did we, not know yeah, that we was snuck chills. it on him. That gave me chills. I love moments like that on right. set where you just pull out something, you just and you do it, and everyone's just blown back by it. They're like, oh shit! Like right. Right. moments like that is so fire. I had yeah. a moment like that with oh, we, we it was the scene where where I tell him I, I actually explained this. Where I tell him, look, you tell me what happened with Breeze, blah blah blah, and I'll turn myself in. And we was rehearsing it. And in the scene, he grabs me and slams me on the table. We and he did that in the rehearsal, and he didn't tell me he was gonna do that. So I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn. He picked you up and slammed you. <laughs> yeah, he backwards her. Yeah, nigga, that shit hurt a little bit. I'm like, okay, pop. All right, yeah. Yeah. So it just and then we did it in the scene, and that shit just hit. I was like, I bet did stuff you, like that is fun. Did any other scenes happen like that with you this season, or or, or season one or two that people have seen mm-hmm. that we know? I, I I I always do. Right. I'm always abstract. I'm always doing something people never expect. Right. And they're like, yeah, let's do that. Because <laughs> I'm doing what, you know, I, I'm doing what a person would do, right. what this woman would do, what my mother would do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, I, I think when we um all met in the graveyard, and the, the scene I loved, I just loved how Tommy grabbed you up, but the way he grabbed you right. was like, <laughs> it was, like, it was so funny. You was just like, like damn. you really look like Yeah, like, yeah he grabbed me up. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, I'm like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love stuff like that, though, because it's real. You see it on the yes. screen. Like, you can't fake none of that shit. Right. Like, yeah. You can't. And and you can't. And once you get into, like, take 10, 11, 12, it's, like, so bland already. Yeah. So you're like, you got to keep it fresh. Mm-hmm. So me and Michael switch stuff up sometimes, and that's where the good stuff comes from because it's organic. Because yeah. we yes. do something, like, we yeah. do something, like, three, four times in a row. We do it the same way. You're like, uh. Let's say let's try something else. Let's just let's go. Let's come in at, at, from this direction. Boom, and then we find something way newer, and it's like, oh, I bet this works. Let's do it. Yeah, right. the choke scene with Latoya that wasn't even in that wasn't written wasn't in there either. We yeah. that was just like, 
Right. That is it. so I did not know that. That's fire. I didn't know that either. I thought they, I thought that was written into nah, me too. No, that's like she talking junk in the bathroom and I did you, you a favor by going to get I said all I could see was my mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I said, my mom would have Yeah. I'm You're just, not doing I, that. Hey. <laughs> that's fire. That's fire. That is so hilarious. Fire. Okay, well, season three is gonna be crazy. Oh, yeah. People are not oh, ready yeah. for it. Yeah, we wanna have you back on for at some point. Um, I know you're going on tour and stuff, but we wanna have you recap your favorite episode of season three. Definitely. And we'll just watch it and we'll we'll recap it together. Hell so one hundred percent. I would love that. We love season you, three. Man, I know. Not ready. People are gonna be so pissed off in the comments because they're gonna be like, they're talking about it, but we don't well, know anything. Yeah, they're like, when is it coming out? Right. Everybody, yo, that's the only question I've been getting asked lately. Like, when are y'all coming back? I'm like, listen, man, I don't know. And they, people be thinking I'm lying. I yeah. really don't know. We don't know yet. We yeah. don't know yet. Do you watch Raising Canaan? Have you watched I, the- I, I, watch, I caught a couple episodes of it, but I'm not, I'm always like not home. Like, right. that mm-hmm. I mean, I'm working, you know, right. over yeah. the road or something. Yeah, I was just but, um, I hear, I know it's, it's fire, yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah that, that's coming out next. But plug whatever you have. If you have announced a tour, announced a bunch of cool shit, you're always doing cool All stuff. All right, I have, I have a tour coming up in September. Amazing. And um, what else I have? Up and out. <laughs> yeah, we're, go, we're going to the show. Yeah, 100 about to y- y- Y'all got, please come. We I'm will. Popping I'm popping out. Don't say it, Michael, because you be saying listen, stuff listen, and then you don't beat it. I'm going to pop out. I'm going to pop out. I ain't going to lie, I did that like twice. I was supposed to come link over with she and all that. Yeah. Like, twice, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, be a Woody. Life be I'm, happy. It. Hung out with Woody, hung out with Latoya. I mean, not um, we um we never hung out. Lavelle. Not I I'm fun of a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm and, and I'ma keep you safe. Yeah, that's just how yeah. I am. She, um, go, she gonna get real more neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> she don't play. <laughs> she don't play. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go to a show. 100. Yeah, percent we coming. All right, I'm hold y'all to that. Yeah. Bet. All right, so I'm, I'm on tour. Um, I have a wine. Um, what's it called? A sun goddess. I have a red. I have a red, a prosecco, a Sauvignon Blanc. I had the prosecco one. It's it's crazy, right? I just started getting into wine. I'm like, I like this. (laughs) In Italy, a little bit. This give me a nice little. I'll be feeling sexy, like, like, word. So grown is sexy. I like the wine. Need some? Go get your sun goddess. That's your fire. (laughs) And um, that's you know this this show right here. Couple of things in the works. I, I have a, a production company called Blue Butterfly where we have content coming on my life. I mean, I'm, my life, Lifetime Television, right, right. Mm-hmm. BT, and, and a couple of more networks. So we are Fire. we have a lot of seeds planted that you'll see uh, bloom. Fire. Incredible. Oh, so yeah. You're always doing some cool shit. <laughs> the man. best. Y'all better look out. The better best. Look out. Uh, yes. And follow Mary J. Blige on Instagram. It's just Mary J. Blige. The real Mary J. Blige. The real Mary, the real Mary J. Blige on Instagram, Mike. Uh, Where's 22 or Michael Rainey Jr. Whatever one y'all want to follow. I think I'm cooler on, on Where's 22, though. Yeah. Honestly, Michael Rainey Jr., I'm cool, too, though. <laughs> we'll follow both of them. If matter. you want to see him cursing people out, follow Where's 22. If you want to see him posting about ghosts, Michael Rainey Jr. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't got no filter on Where's 22. People be getting, be getting me mad. Yeah. Gotta let them know. Don't play. Like, yeah. don't and we're getting Mary her sneakers very soon. Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> at Gianni V. Pelo on really Instagram. Tight, and then give us one, Michael. The, my voice is shot still, but the crew has it, baby. The crew have it. We got the queen. The crew has it, and you have it. Yeah, the crew has it, and you have it. The queen here came to bless us. Thank you for coming on, Mary. We Thank love you. Thank y'all for having me. Yes, this, yes. This, this was fun. Yes. Thank you, Mary. We Thank you, guys. Yeah, this is very <laughs> I don't want to. This comes out. Mm. It's over. Thank this you. Comes out. It's lit. <laughs> so, so-